When I'm sitting up on the bar, I stop thinking. I just take my breaths, usually about three, and then just lock up and go. It's been 10 years since Kitini Taihoka began his CrossFit journey in Gisborne. He quickly connected with the Olympic lifting components of CrossFit, leading him to the sport he now loves. I started CrossFit at around 10 years old and then done that competitively through the years. And then 2018, I found a love and passion for weightlifting and done my first comp, which qualified me for Oceania's. At this first international competition, he broke four Oceania records. He was also named New Zealand's top under 15 year old male weightlifter. He currently holds New Zealand youth records in snatch, clean and jerk and total for his weight class. It's not like a sport where you can get strong quickly or get to the top quickly. It's a slow process and I guess I like that slow type of process. Back in his hometown of Gisborne for a much needed break, 20 year old Tai Hooker now lives on the Sunshine Coast with his partner Tiana and their two children. Competed in Napier for North Island Champs and yeah, that went well. I guess just to be back with, with the crew or just always being by myself and training by myself gets me a bit mentally so yeah. I guess it's just being back home is a bit of a mental refreshing. Ty Hooker came first at the North Island Champs in both the juniors and seniors in his weight class. He has been selected for the Oceana Champs in Samoa. If you could do anything with your weightlifting, what would that be? Commonwealth and Olympics are obviously high up there, but my main goal is on Commonwealth at the moment. Tai Hooker is coached by Tina Ball. Ball is the founder and director of Strength HQ, president of Olympic Weightlifting Auckland and the current New Zealand Commonwealth Olympic weightlifting coach. She's just the best, she, she's always in our corner, she always picks us up and pushes you in every way, mentally, physically, but she also helps you mentally, physically. During a competition, athletes have six attempts to lift the heaviest weights possible. Three lifts in the snatch and three in the clean and jerk. You know, there's a saying that is, is often quoted, which is you snatch what you can and you clean and jerk what you must. So building a total is, is really key and uh, lifters are often not patient. They just want to go out on their best, you know, but sometimes uh, their best that day is not what their best was in training. So there's a lot of factors that go into that. If an athlete misses their first three lifts, they cannot move on in the competition. A big part of the sport is the ability to move past failure. There's nothing much you can do about it. Just got to move on and focus on your next lift. Ball first met Tai Hooker at the Oceana Champs in New Caledonia in 2018. I was part of the coaching team and Kishini was allocated to me to coach at the competition, have some pre-competition communications, find out where he's at, all those kind of things. Ball has herself won a World Masters weightlifting gold medal and is the only female coach in the Oceania region to coach a male Commonwealth Games gold medalist. Over the years, she has witnessed huge changes in the sport. If you just think that women were first allowed to compete at the Olympics in 2000. That's actually not that long ago. Weightlifting wasn't uh, the kind of sport that kids lined up at school to learn because there wasn't many opportunities for them. So I think if you fast forward that to now, uh, weightlifting, there's a lot more awareness of it. And that's, I believe, primarily thanks to CrossFit. 
Ball has an extensive background in strength and conditioning, but got into the sport by accident. I got into weightlifting by trying to find a facility for a, a colleague of mine. We went to check the facility out, not knowing that the um, executive officer of Weightlifting New Zealand back then was deaf, and he thought I'd come to learn to lift. <laughs> and uh, so I did. Ball sees plenty of potential in Taihoka and understands the pressures and stress of a career in weightlifting. I see Kitani with the potential and the ability to go a long way. Like a lot of athletes, it's the factors and the environmental factors around them that make that even more challenging. So for instance, he's got a young family, a lot of lifters have to work, there's no funding in our sport, got a fundraise on, on, on top of that. Living on the Sunshine Coast means Taihoka spends the majority of his training on his own with remote sessions with Ball and the Strength HQ team. So Kittanese has achieved, well will achieve, a major goal that he's set for himself this year and that is that he wants to compete at Junior Worlds. Okay, it's his last year as a junior and that's a pretty pinnacle event and he's qualified to go. Taihoka will head to Samoa for the Oceana Junior Youth Under 23 Championships in October before returning to New Zealand with the team to compete at the New Zealand Nationals. From there, their sights will be firmly set on the ultimate prize, the Paris Olympics in 2024. New Zealand have managed to have one of the qualifying events here in New Zealand, but that's in February. So that will sh showcase lifters here with um, all with very big aspirations of trying to qualify for Olympics and various other things. What's the number one thing you tell yourself? Have fun, be happy, that's it. Mine Lola here, Local Focus.